Alex and Christine, there's so much security video and so many witnesses that placed Eric Holder at the murder scene. The issue is not really who shot and killed Nipsey Hussle, but whether that man should face murder one or manslaughter. No sooner than he walks between the cars, he pulls out not one but two guns and he starts shooting. The prosecution punctuated opening statements with security video outside of Nipsey Hussle's Marathon clothing store. Off of the screen where you'll pick up Mr. Holder walking directly up to the group. He walks between the two parked cars where the gentlemen are and he starts shooting. And if you look closely, you can at one point see him shoot from the left hand and the right hand. And you'll see him retreat back after a few shots. And then he goes back and he shoots some more, and he retreats back, and he goes back and he shoots even more. The suspect is seen in video from multiple angles and later captured on other cameras, leaving the scene with a revolver in one hand and a semi automatic in the other. One bullet is transfected his spine, so even if he had survived, he would have been paraplegic. You will find by that kick to the head at the end, it was very personal. DA called the murder premeditated and personal. Eric walking up in between the two cars, looking at Nipsey and saying, You're through. And Nipsey, after being shot, responding, You got Little reaction from 32 year old Eric Holder, but his attorney, Aaron Jansen, may have shocked jurors with this first statement Mr. Holder returned and shot Mr. Askinoff. But what his public defender also told the jury? There was no premeditation, just a passionate response to Nipsey telling him he'd heard he was a snitch, one of the harshest accusations in the gang world. That so inflamed and enraged um, Mr. Holder, the evidence will show that without thinking, and a few minutes later, a mere nine minutes or so later, Mr. Holder returned and shot Mr. Askinoff. While he's charged with first degree premeditated deliberate murder, in fact, it should be voluntary manslaughter. He also tried to minimize the other four counts facing Holder, attempted murder, and assault against two men hit by bullets. There'll be no evidence that they had anything between them that they didn't even know each other. The prosecution has promised plenty of witnesses, some that might be reluctant actually to testify, but also who will appear. The woman who drove Eric Holder away from the murder scene, she had no idea what happened. Reporting live in downtown Los Angeles, Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News. Susan, what did it feel like in that courthouse? What did it feel like in the courthouse? Well, there's a lot of attention, of course, to this case, and the case was delayed multiple times because of the pandemic. So to finally get it started, you know, people are, are happy to see that at least justice will be served. All right, Susan, a lot of people watching wanting to see the outcome of that case. Thank you.